Hey guys, Lord of the Fly here. Um, I'm going to show you some tactics with Scarlet that I've picked up. I'm still pretty new with her, so if this stuff is known, I apologize. I've just uh, been trying to figure out more efficient ways to use her. Because, um, as you guys know, my thumbs hurt from playing this stupid character. But, um, one of the main things I'm trying to work on is dagger cancels. Um, if I keep doing this, sometimes I get trades that aren't in my favor. So I have to cancel it into a lot of down threes. But also, canceling your daggers into jumps can be effective. But here's the problem with doing that. You dagger cancel, dash forward and jump. Notice how she stays on the ground before she jumps. Well, by tapping up and forward at the same time and doing it twice, you get an instant jump without a dash. So that can be a very effective way to get off the ground a little bit quicker. If, if you're quick enough, you can do an instant dagger off of it. It's just really tough to do. Maybe somebody with a hitbox can do it, I don't know. Same thing for backwards. It just helps you get off the ground faster and uh, helps you evade things a little bit better. So if like, you're playing Sub-Zero and he throws an ice ball right now, you can jump over it, or you can hit him out of a clone by doing that. You just got options with this, and so it keeps you from having just to do down three or down four to avoid projectiles now. You can instantly jump out by tapping up and forward at the same time twice, or up and back at the same time quickly. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is a way to give Scarlet a safe jump option. And the safe jump is important for her, a couple reasons. Um, forward two whiffs on most of the cast if they're ducking. So if you're fighting a Molina, you want to get the string off. You can't unless you can initiate a safe jump of some kind. So the way I would do it is, let's say you block Molina's roll. Okay? You could settle for a combo into reset in the block string, but one thing that I like to try to do is... Get that to work. If I can get the forward three to work, which is a, I think it's a 19 frame move, which is really slow, so it's not easy to set up. You can set it up off of an EX dagger, because the EX dagger puts you at plus 21 on block, plus, I think, 25 or 30 on hit. Um, so let's say I do a combo. I can finish it with the 1-1-2 one, one, into EX Dagger, and then I can go right into forward 3. Now if it hits, I can hit confirm into EX Dagger into safe jump. Now just to show you why, or prove to you it's a safe jump, they can't get out of it. So a couple things happen here. Once the, once the safe jump setup is there, you do forward 3-1. EX dagger, you do this the dagger cancel that I told you about, hit up and forward at the same time. The way that's set up now is she cannot avoid the jump and punch, meaning that she has to stand block. Okay, so let's say I put her on auto and duck. Because she's ducking, even if she tries to hold block that'll hit, meaning that if the 114 hits, I'm set up for another 114. Or I can just go straight into So you've got options off of that. Um, what's fun is if they know it's coming and they block high, 114 jails them standing so the 212 string will hit. So let's say I get a forward three. So now I've got a set up there and I can always mix that up into that if they decide to duck it and I can do the whole thing over again. So let's just talk about damage for a second. Um, if I were to do this string and hit confirm it into a combo We're talking about 
Let's say I do the setup. Oops. All right, costs two bars a meter, and it does, I did the math earlier, it does exactly 30% if they block the low. Okay, exactly 30. Now, the fun thing about it is that all the block strings build you back a bar and a quarter. So let me put it on normal so that you can see. So let's say I was to do uh, the slide and they blocked it. There we go. I've got my meter built back. Um, bar, oh, not quite a bar and a quarter, almost. But it's all, I spent two bars and I built back just over a bar. Um, and I've done 30% off a block string. Now, that's good for so many reasons. A, it plays mind games with them. It convinces them to block. So if they're blocking, then Scarlet gets free damage. If they guess wrong and they block wrong one time, you get a 40% combo into reset and you can do it all over again. Um, it's just a really good setup. So that's something I wanted to really share with you guys. It's just a fun way to guarantee that your block strings will hit um, after any reset. After any 1-1-2 reset, the EX dagger is guaranteed. Now, whether they block standing or, or ducking, you know, doesn't really matter because the forward three hits them whether they're ducking or not. So... If it hits, you got the combo. If it doesn't hit and they block it, you can always do that, or you can go. Basically, you're going to get them standing one way or the other, because if they keep ducking, you're going to get a combo. So, you got options. The other thing that I'm realizing with Scarlet is that in order for her to be effective, you have to keep varying up your block strings. So, after a reset... You've got back one, one, forward, four. You could always cancel into a slide if you want. Once you've got them trained to block, you want to start canceling it into EX Dagger because they can interrupt it, yes, but if they're expecting the slide, they won't let go of block and the dagger will hit, giving you plus 21, giving you another forward three check or a back one check. So you've got two, two strings that will always hit off of an EX Dagger cancel. Or, between those two strings, you can mix up 4-3-3, back 1, 1, forward 4, and you can always cancel in a slide or a slide into overhead. Um, the way you mix these up is up to you, but you have to mix them up consistently in order for her to be effective. Otherwise, you start doing the same thing. You start doing this over and over again. They're going to catch on to it, and then you're going to get poked out or uppercutted, and then it's not going to work. The best thing about it is if you can get that to land. Man, I love that. I love that so much. Okay. Um, one more thing I want to share with you guys is the close dagger um, setup. So let's say um, I've got my opponent on, let's see, let's do, all, let's do no and let's do jump. 1-1-4 one, one, setups, okay? I didn't mean to do that. 1-1-4 um, one, one, setups. If they try to jump, the 1-1-4 one, one, will catch them as they're hitting the air. And then you can, you can hit and firm it into an up slash, into a reset. What you can also do is the air dagger if they jump. If they try to poke you out, which they can also do. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do a close dagger here. Let me put them on ducking. They cannot poke you out if you do this. Now, what's good about that is if they try to poke you, and then the close dagger hits, it puts you at plus 15, I believe. Um, 
So that means you get a free back one forward four. You can also get a free um, four three, even though it's 19 frames, it comes out basically in four. Let me set that up right. So you've got a free forward three check, and you also get a free forward four check. Um, forward four comes out in 12 frames and hits them if they're ducking. So forward three hits them ducking, back one, and then forward four. Um, so you've got tons of options off of one, one, four. If they start jumping a lot, you can always just hit them with the, uh, another one, one, four. Or you can do instant air dagger into reset. Or you can keep it simple and do a, a dagger cancel combo, or you know, even better, you can do one of these. So, anyways, you got options. Um, my favorite one that I want you guys to take away is that combo right there into a safe jump setup. It works off of any. String, you can do it off of a 4-4. Four, four. If, if you do it fast enough. Um, works off of a back 1-1. One, one. Um, I just like doing that one better for some reason. I think it does more damage. 5-3 and three versus... 5-3 uh, and three is the same. So, anyways... Um, you guys enjoy it. Hope uh, your Scarlet's get beastie and uh, enjoy.